Welcome to the Pokemon Dimension, where your whole life is dedicated to throwing balls of metal at wild animals, encasing them into crammed orbs, then forever enslaving them as dogfight participants or lawn ornaments, until they either get pawned off for another beast or are released into the wild. Nah, just kidding. Nobody releases their Pokemon into the wild. Hello there, ten-year-old Noodle, whose gender remains a mystery to me. You mind naming my grandson? Alzheimer? Of course, how could I forget? Alzheimer, meet your new prolonged enemy! When you turn 10 years old, you are legally obliged to walk to your local laboratory, where you can get your high-tech field guide with chance of demonic possession, your spheroidal entity apprehension mechanism, your spray on antidepressants, and best of all, your starter Pokemon. Who will you choose? The one whose final evolution always ends up bipedal? The one who can breathe both water and air? Or the Chikorita. Choose the Chikorita. After you've made your choice, your rival has chosen the one whose type will beat your type, and the last one gets to stay back at the lab for more experimentation against this will, it's time for you to go on a Pokemon journey. But what is a Pokemon journey? You say curiously, biting into a twig for whatever reason. The only journey I've heard of made don't stop believing. Well, my culturally acceptable millennial, a Pokemon journey is a complex bundle of fun you can entitle as walking in circles in tall grass until either you get ticks or all of your Pokemon have levels higher than their hit points. Speaking of which, how about we talk about Pokemon? Pokemon are the colorful, kooky, black hole-making creatures that populate their dimension by the tractor trailer loads, yet for some reason let powerless humans command their whole existence. Their sole function in life is to fight each other with explosions, toxic gas, fireballs, water blasts, discharging of high-powered electricity, frigid ice, punches, kicks, scratches, slashes, dragon meteors, lava plumes, and even licking each other to death. Your job is to order your battle slave to claw at the other Pokemon's throat and to either your beast or their beast flicker out of consciousness. If the former happens to you, then you gotta pack your poached pet into its Pokeball and scoot yourself over to the Pokemon Center, a building where the nice nurse and her 3,681 identical sisters pump electrolytes into it until it comes back to life. And if you ever catch more monsters than your pockets can handle, just store the rest of your Pokemon in your personal computer, where the living soul of your cute little gym char gets crushed up and converted to data. Just make sure you don't get malware, or else your gym char may be glitching out of existence the next time you see it. But hey, maybe you're not a fan of animal abuse, and that's understandable. Some people instead like to force their beasts to endlessly reproduce with a blob of pink slime. Or spend months, and even years walking through grass, searching for a critter that sparkles a slightly different color palette. But if you're truly dedicated, you can treat these animals like stamps or lint and collect them all. After all, gotta catch them all applies just as much to living, breathing creatures as it does to the six different colored hex bugs available for a limited time in your McDonald's Happy Meal. And not only can you collect them, but a highly efficient black market exists where you can trade your Pokemon for somebody else's Pokemon. Maybe you might even do Wonder Trades, where the Wonder is hoping to hi hello kitty you get a shiny quantum legendary dragon, but actually getting a young goose named Trump that's already been cycled through the same trading system 37 times. So now you know your choices, young and aspiring trainer. Now it's time for you to wander aimlessly along routes until you get somewhere. And somewhere you've gotten. Here's a tiny little ghost town with nothing but a house, a healy place, Walgreens, and the gym. You think to yourself, GYMS ME BABES! And quickly dash at unmatched speeds through the doors. However, your quick to assume mind has quickly been defiled as you enter and notice no girls running on treadmills. Or anybody running on treadmills. Or treadmills for that matter. Instead, you notice a semi-large quadrant whose design is modeled after either a haunted house or wonderworks filled with vacant, dead-inside trainers you have to put up your dukes with, or challenges you must pass like- THE WALLS ARE FREAKING INVISIBLE! And after you've finished your expedition through the gymnasium locking and exercise equipment, you get to meet- THE GYM LEADER! Who is the unknown, robust, all-powerful titan that was legendary enough to win their way to the top of the gymnasium through endless turmoil and struggle? Faulkner, master of edgy haircuts and catching any of the tough Pokemon on Route 2. But I'll give the guy credit, he's pretty fly. For a white guy. Okay, so you have just engaged in battle with this troublesome individual who probably is only gym leader because he had a family member in the gym business. And the fight begins! This video was made possible by the Pokemart. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. 
If you ever find yourself in need of an indispensable ingredient of your Pokemon journey, come on down. We sell all of your essential Pokemon goods and services. If you're trekking through a cave and keep catching Zubats in your hair, spray some homemade poisonous repel, and the stink from the nausea-inducing chemicals will keep them away. For about 50 footsteps. If you're trekking through a cave and you're suffering from malnourishment, claustrophobia, and a general sense of being lost, use an escape rope to magically teleport yourself back to daylight via a eject button. If you're trekking through a cave and... I don't know, trekking through a cave. Use a guard spec to do something somewhere at some certain place or time. I don't give a frick. And if those reasons weren't enough to get you packing your purse, dashing out the door, and speeding 75 miles per hour down the residential streets to get to the nearest Pokemart, we sell TMs! But what is a TM? No, it is not the tiny letters you see floating after every major, minor, and non-existential business logo meaning is trademarked. TM stands for Time Machine. TMs are- oh, you may want Huh? Oh, you might want to that again. What? I said you might want checks again. I, I was told these would take you back in time. Oh, you might want checks. I was told I could get my wife and kids back. Wait, are we still rolling? Oh, you might want checks that again. <clears throat> we have just received word that the abbreviation actually stands for Technical Machine. Though it might look like the disc found in your Pokemon the first movie soundtrack, Technical Machines are actually discs preloaded to teach your humble Pokemon a move. How do you do this via machine? Well, to be frank, it requires cogent prodding through infinitesimal caudal indentations of the unperpetuous varmint in question. And while not directly sold at our establishments, be on the lookout for HMs, teaching your Pokemon useful tasks like surfing, smashing rocks, and swimming underwater. Cause you can't progress forwards without them! So come on down to the Pokemart, our diverse products will make you more smart! Yeah, there's about as much diversity in the Pokemon's products as there was in Colonial America's social structure. Eat dirt, bird boy! Your role as captain of the Eagle Scouts just got stripped! Once you have slaughtered the opposing gym leader's Pokemon into chicken nuggets and finished your pre-mandatory victory taunt, you will be rewarded with a participatory badge. Wait! Don't throw it in the trash yet! If you collect 8 polished sparkly badges from these falsely labeled gymnasiums, you'll be able to travel down Victory Road, located right next to Memory Lane, and massacre the Elite Four! However, you can't just saunter up to the elitist of the elite with your level 37 Charizard and no legendary Pokemon. Otherwise, your Pokemon may have their legs broken to toothpicks, spinal cords wrenched out and chucked into the abyss, and become more mangled than me after running sweatily through the fitness gram 20 meter pacer test. Instead, you gotta make yourself a training montage! For your training montage, you're going to want to defibrillate those stats to match your scrapping needs. And how do I do that? You ask, lighting a match to see. <sighs> well, my next victim, you've got to look at your Pokemon's IVs, EVs, base stats, stat stats, levels, moves, types, beauty performances, political preferences, hit points, power points, IQ points, and favorite brand of coffee. Now say goodnight! <laughs> After you've completed your montaging, you'll be ready to challenge the upper class four. That'll teach him for dumping oil and muck into the river. So what are we waiting for? Let the battle come. This video is sponsored by Melisatas. Hey man, do you want a deep fried cinnamon egg sized dough ball filled with fluff, butter, and grounded up flakes of togepies and tediosas? Then advance your troop forwards to the Melisata shop, where our meadow is. Customer of the Melisata shop! We sell all kinds of products. Melisatas, Melisatas, and even... The mystical Melisata. The most wondrous Melisata to ever embrace the shop shelves. Rarer than the shiniest Vespiquen. Rarer than the Master Ball. Rarer than a teenage millennial that knows who Pink Floyd is. Yes, we sell mm -mm Melisatas, so come on down, amigo. Buy a Melisata. Just tell them Castell sent you. Melisada, Melisada, yes, you know, you know, you wanna, we say no to marijuana, yes to Melisada. Woody Woot! I scoot my rear end across the linoleum in victory! So it seems your journey is almost at its end. <laughs> and as you walk through the double doors to receive your grand prize, you gasp in shock as you see what lays beyond them. A 
Alzheimer! Bum, bum, bum! Alzheimer! You scream madly, shaking your head as if demons have possessed it. I completely forgot you existed! Yes! Alzheimer booms back, giving a haughty laugh. It is I, your lifelong rival! And I am the Pokemon Champion! Pokemon Champion? You whimper disgracefully. Yes! Booms your rival, whose name you've already forgotten. And I see you have come to claim my spot! Actually, I've just come to claim my victory mark. Well, too bad! Booms this guy. You're going to have to go through me if you want to live! And the Pokemon battle has just turned into a one-on-one -on -one clash of life or death. Guess the stakes are raised a little bit. Sponsored by Digi- Yes! The ad blocker works! You have engaged in battle with a cretin with a metagross for his only Pokemon. How will you compare? Cool, sound true. You throw out your last alive Pokemon? Fan true? How, how the frick did you beat the Elite Four with a, a, a fan true in your party? Frick, you're screwed. Metagross! The Pokemon Champion shouts with fury. Use Electro Ball! Facilitations, Cadet! You have triumphantly brought an end to your Pokemon journey! I hope you'll be content knowing you oppressed wild animals against their will and exposed them to subterranean battle rings, wild beast trafficking, and becoming brand new trinkets to add to your Pokemon collection. Gotta catch them all! Apart from Jinx, that thing deserves to be thrown into the fires of the underworld.